Hi and welcome to today's Photoshop tutorial. Today's Photoshop tutorial is going to be a ghost-like effect. Okay, it is a Batman ghost-like effect, and I'm going to teach you how I make this or something similar to some to uh, this. So uh, I did this by using just three stocks. Okay, the first stock is by oops, whatever. There is. The first stock is by Miss Elendrea. Okay, the next stock is by Jagged Eye. This is him. I mean. Um, uh, he took this photo because he's the photographer and uh, yeah and the third one is this is my photo yes that is my name and it says photo copyright John or Sonus 2013 yes this is me this is my name uh, I mean that's my name and this is my stock this just in case you're confused where you can find this this is uh, normally because you find the links to these uh, images to these the images that I use in the very bottom of the, of the uh, uh, the subscription or description below but in this case this one it will be available on my blog okay the my the link to my blog is the very first thing that you see in the description box it says blog space double colon uh, space then the URL or link uh, the website excuse me the blog is called sources for inspiration okay so uh, yeah you can use this uh, you may use this but uh, don't claim it as your own don't Upload it to a pay site and um, don't make resources for from it in any shape or form or whatsoever. So uh, yeah, so let's begin. First, let's open this stock here. This was by Elendrea. This book, which was actually standing when you first see it. So what you want to do is you want to go to image, uh, image rotation, then 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, so that it tilts like this because this looks better instead of the one when it stands. Then after that, you want to upload this or link this or insert this this uh, stock by Mr. Jagged Eye and then um, you want to go into this you want to grab soft brush and you want to paint with paint yeah you want to paint we're gonna paint with this okay we're gonna paint with a black oh sorry with a black soft brush and uh, you want to delete the background but not in the entire thing and it is up to you how you want to do this you want to do this Properly, meaning you can use a pen tool or something, but uh, in my case, uh, since this is going to be a ghost-like effect, ghost-like basically that means a uh, an abstract and whoop, some hidden backgrounds. It's perfect, so it, you don't really have to get it super right. You just have to get the right kind of feel or angle like this. Oh, come on, come on. Let me just move here. Come on, there it is. Perfect. For me, at least that's perfect. So after that, what you want to do is uh, you want to open this. Again, I would remind that this is my image. This is available on my blog. You want to open a layer uh, mass here, and then we're gonna paint. We're gonna paint. Okay, we're gonna paint with a black soft gloss. <sighs> I hate getting tempted. So uh, just paint out or mask out the uh, background here, because actually the purpose of this. Uh, image why I'm sharing it to you because first of all you don't actually need this because um, I just the purpose of this is sort of a uh, sort of a cover of some kind and so after that after you uh, mask out the image you want to go into layer mask and go to gradient overlay and go to your defaults and you want to grab this one it says come on copper there it is you want to grab that and change this into this so you want to click OK and then Yep, you want to copy this by dragging this here, and this one you want to put that below the uh, uh, J Batman, and then after that you want to move this right about there, and then you want to Control T or Command T, right click, go to Distort, and you want to grab the upper right slider here and pull that upwards. Yep, too strong. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yep, and so that's negative 16.3. Uh, I think that that's degree, degrees. So uh, click OK. I mean, click the checkbox and uh, just erase this. So the purpose of this is sort of a. Uh, it gives a feel of a sort of a. Uh, uh, how can I say this? It's like wings. They. It gives it a feel of wings. And uh, just increase this. Uh, better. Maybe wanna let's maybe add one more of this. One more of this, and Control T, flip horizontal, and maybe we'll put that here. Too 
too strong. Come on. Better. Okay, so after that, we want to go into the Batman stock by Jagged Eye and we want to add some adjustment layers, but uh, let me just zoom in here so you have a better clue what's going on. Oops, sorry. Come on. Come on. Okay. Right. So, where's that? There it is. So first, what we want to do is add a drop shadow. Oh, wait, this is the wrong layer. Sorry, it's this one. Come on, come on. By the way, this uh, video is unedited as always, so yeah, I like doing my uh, videos unedited for those of you who are new to uh, viewing my video tutorials. So add a drop shadow, just click the drop shadow box, and after that, you want to go to outer glow, click, see that? And then you want to change the color here to uh, uh, D1, D1, D1. Okay, so it's kind of white-ish. And then after that, you want to add a satin, just click, and you get that feel. And then after that, an inner glow. Okay, with the inner glow, what you want to do is, first, you want to change the color. Where is it? Come on. Color. Color. There it is. B, 2, D, A, 1. Okay, then after that, go into inner shadow. Where is it? There it is. Click and change the color to DDB733. Click enter. And then after that, you want to go into cover. Uh, co cover. <laughs> wow, this is a second fail. You want to go to co color. Color. As in Clayora. You want to change the color overlay and the color of it to uh, 406867. Click enter. And then change the blending mode to soft light. So you see that? And then the opacity to 50%. Or, oops, I click enter. Then after that, you want to click Babylon Boss. So that, can you see the difference? Let's click and observe right here. I'll just click. See that? There is a, a very slight and hint ish effect. Okay? So now we can see that he looks like a. kind of weird actually, but yeah. Anyway, so after that, we want to go to our background here and add a U and saturation uh, preset. Click that and set that to old style, okay? Because now we, we want to match the background to this guy. And then after that, we want to add a brightness. Increase the brightness to about... Uh, it is actually up to you because in this case, we, uh, we what we want to have... What? What we're aiming for is we want to get a lot of noise into the image. Uh, the idea of this is like when you're taking a photo, uh, it's over. Sorry, it's overexposed. So it's like this. See that? It's kind of noisy-ish or grainy. So see that? And now it's noisy. If that's a word, if it's not a word, well, let's pretend that it's a word for a second. Then add a curves adjustment. You want to set this on increase contrast. Okay. So that, yeah. Then after that, you want to add another U in saturation. You want to set this in sepia and then the blending mode to screen. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. And there you go. We are finished, actually. This is your base. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, uh, just make a comment of it. Please share, like, subscribe. And if you have a comment, again, I would remind uh, if you have a comment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, if you have a comment, make a question of it. Yeah, make a... If, if, eh, whatever. If you have a question, just make a comment of it. And I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Take care, and I'm just going to play around with this, and I will show you my final results. Okay, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.